Hey everyone, today we're going to be installing the free screen recording software called OBS on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you have the M1, M2 or M3 Mac or any future Apple Silicon Mac, then this is going to be the version for you. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the OBS website and we're going to download the Apple Silicon Mac version of the software. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. Just go ahead and click the Apple Silicon Mac version. Or if you have an Intel Mac and you're watching this video, then use the Intel installer instead. Basically the same steps are involved. So once all of that has been downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our Downloads folder. And within this folder, we are going to find the file, the obsstudio.dmg. So we're going to double click on this to open this up. And then we're going to have a window here. We're going to drag and drop the OBS icon into the applications folder. So just go ahead and drag and drop with the trackpad or mouse and then let go on applications folder. And then we have copied it to our computers. It's basically installed now. Then we are going to scroll down and find the OBS icon. So this is the software itself. Then we're going to double click to open this up. So when you open this for the first time, it's going to say that OBS is an app downloaded from the internet. We're going to press open to manually open this. So now we're going to set the app permissions. So OBS requires several permissions from macOS in order to work. So obviously we need screen recording so OBS can see your screen. And so when we click this, we get to this system settings menu. We're going to toggle this on and then you need to type in your password. We're going to have to do this several times so just bear with us while we get this all set up so we're going to click later here because we're going to restart after we've done all of these permissions next we're going to be accessing camera and microphone permissions so just click request access on both of those and those will be granted just press ok on the screen here and then under accessibility we're going to go ahead and enable this and then we're going to toggle this on under the system accessibility menu so once again go ahead and type in your max password so once we're done here, we're basically ready to press the continue button. So just press continue here. Also, it says here system extension blocked. So you need to access another permission here just under system settings. And under privacy and security, it says here OBS was blocked from loading. Click on allow. So once you have OBS loaded up, it's pretty easy to do a screen recording. You might have to close OBS using this red button and then reopen it in order for those permissions to kick in. But basically, you can just go ahead and set up a scene which is basically the name of a set of presets. Then we click the plus button here, and then we can do something like macOS screen capture, press OK, and then we have our display capture set up, press OK. And let's say we want to add audio, just click the plus button here. We're going to add audio input capture, press OK. And then we're going to use a device. We're going to be using, let's say, our MacBook Pro microphone, press OK. And then once those two things are ready, you can see the audio capture input is there from my MacBook Pro's microphone. And basically, once we're ready, we can press the start record button, and then that's going to start recording a video for us. So that video is being recorded at the moment. And then once we're stopped, we can go and uh, it's saved in a specific folder. You can see which folder it is by going to settings, I'm going to output, and you can see where that video is being saved. And if I go to my video, I can just double click on this. We're going to be opening this using something called VLC. And then you can see here, this is the video that I've just recorded, complete with all the audio, etc. Anyway, that is how you go ahead and install OBS on a Mac. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.